Thank you. And thank you, Nish. Now, this piece is all about scare tactics. Some sections of the press bravely dismissed all sorts of warnings about Brexit, coronavirus and climate catastrophe as scaremongering. But rather inconveniently for them, all these warnings have now turned out to be completely on the money. <laughs> now, on climate catastrophe, accusations of scaremongering abound. In The Telegraph, Lord Lawson claims climate change hysteria heralds a new age of unreason. Mm, my Lord Lawson, if you don't believe it's possible for a celestial body to get hotter with every passing year, allow me to introduce you to your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Over and over again, concerns about climate catastrophe were dismissed as scaremongering, but in August, the IPCC published their Global Climate Change Report, and now we know definitively that the warnings were true all along. If you haven't read the report, then spoiler alert, it's really bad. I'm talking really, really bad, like Prince Andrew's legal meetings bad. <laughs> really bad. Like the state of the ensuite in Nish's dressing room bad. <laughs> Why would they serve a lasagna for dinner when they know what it does to my innards? <laughs> On Brexit, look at this handy catalogue of hubris and regret from the Express. Well, hey, farmers will have nothing to worry about after Brexit. Because they'll no longer own their farm. <laughs> yes, we're taking back control of our fish. <laughs> because no one will buy them. <laughs> Get in! A cheaper shopping basket! <laughs> because it's empty. <laughs> it's like that bit in Lord of the Rings when Gollum argues with himself, except their precious is self-denial and the facts have been tossed into a volcano. <laughs> to make matters worse, these same clever little newspapers make it even harder to spot when a frightening warning might be true by engaging in egregious, groundless scaremongering themselves. Did the England team taking a knee lead to a Marxist revolution, as certain journalists predicted? Well, seeing as the first thing that happened straight after the Euros was that Manchester City signed Jack Grealish for £100 million in the biggest deal in Premiership history, I'd say capitalism is alive and well. <laughs> and thank God so is Jack Grealish and his hair. <laughs> Now, Nish, we really need to get better at spotting pure scare stories from scary but true stories, don't we? So, with that in mind, Nish, if you'd like to join me to play the game Scaremongering or Scary Fact. <laughs> the gang's back together. I'm going to present you with newspaper headlines okay. and you need to tell me which ones we've made up to scare the Telegraph readership and which ones are, in fact, facts. OK, great. OK, first one. Extinction Rebellion wants your pension for dolphins. <laughs> if you're not sure, Nish, because you do look confused, yeah. uh, sometimes it's worth looking to see who the newspaper's source is. In this case, I can tell you the source is Goliath Petrochemicals and Mining PLC. Oh. That image on the logo, Nish, if you're wondering, is a man in a top hat drowning a sea turtle in crude oil. <laughs> Do you think that's a trustworthy source? I'm going to say it's made up. It is made up, Nish. Very good. Very good. Great. OK, here's another one. Sex education to include ice picking, gulching and shit play. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going to regret asking this question. What's gulching? <laughs> Nish, if you don't know, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> Are these all fake ones, Rachel? Yes, that... Nish, they are. Because... <laughs> <laughs> the ones we made up are just a lot more fun. <laughs> um, do you want an accurate one? Yes, I yes. got up here and walked over because I thought I was playing a real game. Right, you want a real one, Nish? I'll give you a real one. There's this Financial Times headline. Time is running short to avert hell on earth. You like that? Are you happy now, Nish? No, ma'am, I'm not. Are you proud of yourself, Nish? Because you should be, because you did very well on that quiz. Go and sit down. 